Hands up, who's ready for some motion tracking? I know I am. Let's have a look at this clip. I'm just going to scrub through it a little bit. Look at it. It's lifeless, boring, dull. It needs motion tracking. It's gagging for it. Now, here's what we've got to do. We're going to use Mocha for After Effects to track some of these objects that I'm uh, so eloquently uh, scrubbing through. Let's switch over to uh, Mocha where I've got a little bit of a project already started. You can see here I've got some tracking handles already attached to these this bit of rubble in the foreground. As I scrub through it you can see we're tracking all the way through and there's a tire over here and some other shapes. If I turn these layers on up here you'll see I've tracked those as well. We're going to start off with the left shape though. Really easy to do tracking in Mocha. You can see we've got um, little handles around these different objects and then we've got some blue handles on the outside. This can be used for feathering the edge of our shapes and for applying motion blurs and that type of thing as well. That's what these little extra handles are for. We're going to go ahead and use this one though. How do we get this data into After Effects? Well, it's pretty easy. Select the one that you want to use and then down underneath the track tab here we're going to export this shape data. Okay, run the tracking data to track something along. We're going to export the shape data. We can use selected layers or all visible layers or all layers. Let's just do selected layer. We're going to copy that to the clipboard and jump back over to After Effects. We're going to start off with the left shape layer. So you can see what's going on first though. We're going to turn the background layers off because we've just duplicated those in After Effects. We're going to come up to the Edit menu and just hit Paste. Now it pastes that shape data right over the top and there you've got the shape mode there. We can change the opacity, we can change the shape color, um, we can do a whole bunch of stuff to it. But what's really important is we can we can add a special effect to that. So as that scrubbing through we could do something like, I don't know, let's put a blur. Um, blur, Gaussian blur, we'll chuck a blur on there. There's the blur there, we'll increase the blurriness to a point where it's quite blurry and therefore changing the depth of field. So if we then go and turn the background layers on again and then we can scrub through those, now you can see we've really changed the depth of field there. So I might increase that blurriness quite a bit so we'll have it quite pronounced. That's in the foreground there, all really quite blurry. And then we might want to change some, some shape data for some of these other objects. Let's jump back to Mocha. Um, go ahead and select the tire layer in this, in this case. We're going to export the shape data on the selected layer, copy it to the clipboard, jump back over to After Effects, really quite easy. Select the tire layer, which is simply a duplicate, edit and paste. Now, if we turn the backgrounds off, we should be able to see the tire there as well, so that's exciting. And then again, We'll do a Gaussian blur, we'll drag and drop that onto this layer, make sure we get the right one, and we'll give that tire a good blur as well. Maybe it doesn't need to be blurred as much, uh, but there we go, we've now blurred that, and we can do some wicked tracking, and that will follow along uh, with the shapes. Who's excited about that? I know I am. That's using Mocha and After Effects together to do motion tracking and adding special effects and editing the image.